friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And I think, now I know I'm going on a rant. It's been a rough week. It's been a really rough week. We finally go away for a weekend. And then, you know, before we even lay our heads down on the pillow, the night, the first night we're away, all hell breaks loose, our buck dies. And you guys know the rest of the story. Then our one of our doe, pregnant does dies, and then we had to do a C-section with Clover and save the babies, and then Clover had to be put down, and all this fun stuff. Plus, the weather is just pissing everybody off. Everybody off. So I don't know how clear, clear I am about what this rant's going to be about, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be about being an Anglophone living in Quebec. Now, before, you know, you, you tune out because you may not be interested, this is what's kind of going on right now. Quebec was ruled back, wasn't it in the 70s, right? In my lifetime, Quebec won the right to be viewed as a distinct society. And that was a really big deal for them. Now, since then, it's like, if you give them an inch, they'll take the whole, they'll take a mile. We had, the, the Premier of Quebec is named Pauline Mourois. I'm not, I, that's not disrespectful, I just don't know how to pronounce her name. Now, she is pushing for a general election in Quebec so that, She's hoping that the Parti Québécois, or the, the Bloc Québécois, will get a majority government. Now, they're saying, oh, no, 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 it's got nothing to do with wanting to separate and all this stuff. Crap, that's bull. For starters, this general election is already on the, on the, the slots for uh, April 7th. It's already billed, it's already lined up for April 7th. And before that's even happened, they're already talking about what it would mean if, if Quebec was to become a, a sovereign society separate and apart from Canada. Pretty much want to be their own country. And that's been around forever. Now, contrary to popular opinion, Canada is not a bilingual country. Okay? If we have uh, produce, like if you look at this can of spaghetti, okay, the spaghetti sauce, if you look at the other side, it's in French. And if you're in Quebec and you go to a, into a store, all these labels, all the French labels have to be facing forward. They call it the language police. If you have a sign, if you have a store, okay, that your, your title of your store or the sign above your store, the predominant language, if it has to be, it can be in English and French, but if you put it in English and French, the French has to be more predominant. That's Quebec. Quebec is a unilingual province, which means they're the, the preferred language in Quebec. The legal language in Quebec is French. The rest of the Canada, except for New Brunswick, the rest of Canada is English. New Brunswick is the only bilingual province in our entire country. Now, for you folks out there in the United States, provinces are like states. And we have 10 provinces and three territories, okay, which is none of it, uh, the Yukon and, and the Northwest Territories. And then there's the rest of the provinces. So, by forcing a general election for Quebec, she's hoping for the Parti Québécois to have a majority government. And... The, you know, instead of saying, oh, no, 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 it has nothing to do with wanting to separate from Canada or anything else, they're already talking about how Canadians will, Canadian tourists will be welcome in Quebec. 
that they want to use, but they'll still want to use the Canadian currency like most of Europe uses the euro. Um, and that there may be passports or citizenship cards required of Quebec citizens. Okay, here's my problem with this. Recently, a story was circulating on Facebook, and I checked it out, that a man was uh, in Laval, Quebec, who's English, stopped at a Tim Hortons, and wanted a coffee, and he can't speak French. And the person serving him could not or would not speak English. For whatever the case may be, a fight broke out. But the rest of Canadians will be, the Canadian tourists will be welcome in Quebec. My husband got a speeding ticket recently. It's all in French. Now, if you don't pay your speeding tickets or, 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 or um, parking violations or whatever, within 30 days, they can almost double in price. But you got to fill out when the fine was and if you're guilty or not. But the whole thing is in French. And it has this little thing that you have to translate, this little wee tiny box that says, if you want this in English, you have to contact them. How long do you think that's going to take for him to get a copy of that ticket in English? Also, a few, well, a while back when I used to work in Wakefield, um, I was, I hadn't worked uh, in the public in a long time. And... I was doing pretty good because when we moved to Quebec, I could say bonjour and merci beaucoup, and that was it. So when I went to work at this place, I had I was always working with a French person who could, if need be, serve in French. This gentleman came to the counter, and my only mistake when he came to pay for his coffee and his cookie was I addressed him in English. And I said, will that be everything? And he went, parlez-vous français? And I went, non. And I meant to say non. Mon français n'est pas bon. Which means my French is not good. I didn't even get the sentence out of my mouth. And he went, Psst, just like that. Psst. And he would not, he refused to even look at me, let alone be served by me. So I went, you know, I asked my coworker to take over. And my coworker said the same thing, c'est tu, which means that's it, you know. And he went on a tirade in French, which she explained to me afterwards, that it wasn't good enough for him to be served in French because he had that option. It is his right as a Quebec citizen to be served in French. But there were two of us. One of us spoke English, one of us spoke fluent French. And she served him, so she didn't. there was no issue. His issue was the fact that an Anglophone who could not speak French was working in Quebec at all. At all. Because I couldn't speak French. I should not be allowed to work at all in Quebec. This is a, this is a long time attitude with many Quebecers. Not all, but many. So my question again is, Pauline Moira, whatever your name is. How do you expect when you become, if you get a majority government, how do you expect the rest of the country to treat you with respect and want to, and, and when asked, well, isn't that going to affect your tour tourism? And she said, why? All the hills and scenery is the same. But if you can't get a coffee at Tim Hortons without starting a Donnybrook over a language, how many people are going to want to come to Quebec? Because remember, the rest of the, the country is English, except for New Brunswick, who's bilingual. 
So, my message to the rest of Quebec is vote liberal. <laughs> Just kidding. Vote your conscience, but know this. If the Parti Québécois gets a majority government, you know there's going to be a referendum on its heels. You know they're going to want to be not just a distinct society anymore. They're going to want sovereignty from the rest of Canada. And that's going to be bloody expensive. You know why? A, there's going to be a referendum and it's going to include the whole country. So everybody's got to stop what they're doing and vote yes or no. Okay? And we already did this not that long ago. It's going to affect the economy. How? Property values are going to drop like a stone. Why? I mean, I, I hate to point out the ignorance here, folks, but not everybody who lives in Quebec speaks French. Okay? And there's a lot of us Anglophones out here who go, if we can't even get a speeding ticket in English without having to send away for it, What's it going to be like when we can't even read our bills or get someone on, on, on the line for, for, gov for government who, when they refuse to speak, speak English by their trying to force people into being French? And don't tell me that doesn't happen because it does. Not all facets of the Quebec government have an English option. Okay? Usually, the 1-800 numbers, everything's in French. You have to read the fine print and find the number for Montreal in order for you to phone and get somebody who may or may not speak to you in English. And then there is a language barrier and things can get confusing. So... People like me might want to move out of Quebec. Good luck getting other people from the rest of the country to move into Quebec. Your property values are going to drop. Tourism is going to drop. Okay? And you guys, if you think the rest of the country is going to foot your bill for your nonsense, think again. You want to be free? You'll be free. You'll be cut loose like a bad sore. It's, it's just not a good idea. So, there's my beef. Not, not too thrilled about living in Quebec right now. I mean, I love Quebec. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful province. It's a stunningly beautiful province. Okay? But it's hard to get a job here if you don't speak French. And if you, don't ha if you don't speak French, you can't get a government job anywhere in Ottawa. Hell, anywhere in Canada. So, all this stuff and nonsense. Okay, and it is stuff and nonsense. Quebec, you are a distinct society. Don't push your luck. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, it's been a crappy week and I, I'm going to be taking tomorrow off, folks. I'm going to do something so mundane. I'm going to can pork and beans or something just, just because I, I'm just not having a good week. All right. I love you guys and thanks for listening to me ramble. Bye-bye.